Hi, I'm Jenny Weigel and today I'm going to be answering some questions about Valentine's Day. My ideal date I think would be at an amusement park because there's always something to do and like because I feel I would probably feel awkward if I was at a dinner date because like you're just sitting opposite to each other and just like staring at each other which is like kind of uncomfortable so I would prefer an amusing park date. Well I think it depends as well if on the first date the feeling is mutual I think they should both pay but if someone asks the other person out and like they still don't really like you can feel that some one or the other is not really like reciprocating it I guess I think the guy should pay <laughs> I'm just biased I guess to be honest I don't really have like a type but I think people with a good sense of humor are, are attractive to me and just like people who are a little like have some opposite traits from me like for example I'm introverted so I would appreciate someone who's extroverted and someone who is more talk active than me because to be honest like I don't really talk much or maybe I do but like at some point I I don't really know what to say so I appreciate people who always know what to say So in Thailand, there are like so many pickup lines. Like every day, people are thinking of new pickup lines. But I think like one which is not really a pickup line, but like it's kind of like an introduction type of thing, is Wang Ejan Nong Sao, which is like so cringy. Ugh. Like it it means kind of like sub girl, but like it's like what's up little sister which is like kind of creepy I know but that's like how the creepy people would usually like come and like introduce themselves like hey what's up girl like what you doing <laughs> which is like you <laughs> I'm Jenny Weigel and I wish you all a happy Valentine's Day to couples and also all the single people out there